Mm. 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 
Mm. I thought I fought. Hello? Pussy cats? What's new, my pussy cats? How do you do you like that? Is that good? Do you like that one? What's up, pussy cats? Hey, hey, pussy cats! What's going on right now? What's good, pussies? Hey, pussy! Your eyes said. Your neon Ironside face just came in. Oh, let's go! Good, good fucking choice. Ironside is honestly like one of my favorite companies I've ever worked with. Ever. They are so nice. They are quality. Customer satisfaction guaranteed. They got me two free computers. Like, no questions asked. I got my first computer from them. It was kind of an emergency because my my other main PC that I built like four years ago was having problems. And I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do anything for a while. But they were like, no, we got you. We'll send you a free computer. And you can transfer all your stuff to it. And by golly, they did. And then... I kind of wanted my own PC with my art on it Cause I was like, oh man I already got a computer, but The computer with like the Vishojo Nyaner's art on it is coming out And they gave me that one for free too And I was like, well shit uh, I'll just send back the, the other one And You know, just take all my stuff off of it And they were like, no, 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 no problem You keep it It was so fucking epic They're so nice and their computers are so nice too. Mm. They built them with love. Free is one of my favorite F words. Hell yeah! Free, frugal, and fucked. In the good way. Fug. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Sorry I started stream really late. I was uh brainstorming some stuff for tomorrow. Me and Ethel are doing a, a weird food stream. I don't want to give too much away, but we're, we're coming up with some ideas for it. And later tonight, I'm gonna sit up for that. And then after, I think uh, at like 7 p.m. my time, in about three hours, I'm gonna go over to Koki's channel and we're gonna do Hot Ones Challenge, which I don't know if you guys have seen the YouTube series. It's basically like, a bunch of people get together and they eat really spicy hot wings using a special sauce while discussing various topics and answering questions. And I'm really, really worried about it, but I know that my stomach won't like it, but my brain will like it. My heart will like it. Because, as they say, food while eaten with friends always tastes better. Even if it is like liquid magma hot and gives you diarrhea for a week straight after. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. But for now, I guess I'm just gonna chill, fuck around, play some Skyrim, if you guys are down. I'm pretty hooked on Skyrim, I must say. I've been thinking about it too much. Mm. Never expected a Nyan Ethel Seer collab, but it was so hilarious last night. Yeah, oh my god, bro. Ethel and Seer hit it off so well. They're so funny together. <laughs> it was it was really surreal because I'd been watching uh Sears Dark Souls streams for a while because he played Dark Souls for the first time and it was super entertaining <laughs> stinky poo poo streamer <laughs> yeah you got him right <laughs> yeah I'm sorry if you missed it it was kind of a spur of the moment thing me and Ethel and Tactone have been just uh have been just hopping on Diablo 
every now and then, like late night, just to chill, just as buns. And oh my god, man, I was so sleep deprived yesterday. I'm still feeling the effects of it today. Can't make that mistake ever again, but here's the thing. The day, you know, the last time I streamed, I was like, guys, I gotta go to bed early. I got to. I have, a, I have to wake up really early. I have an appointment. And I ended stream at like fucking past 10 p.m. Like a fucking idiot. After streaming for like over seven hours. Because I couldn't stop put, playing Skyrim. I couldn't, I couldn't put it down. And then, like a fucking siren song. Ethel comes into my room. And he's like... Do you want to play Diablo with Tectone? I can't turn that shit down! You, you think I could... Who could say no to that? Especially if, if Ethel's asking. He, like, he hugged me and everything. Bro, late night Diablo with the boys? I can't turn that shit down. It was so fun too. And we, we played until like... 1 a.m. ish and then we're like okay we gotta go to bed and then i i ate dinner and couldn't fall asleep until after like 3 a.m because i my mind was just fucking racing i was thinking i had that like anxiety you get where you have to wake up early and you're like shit what if i sleep through my alarm i'm not gonna be able to wake up what if my phone accidentally gets covered up by my pillow and it muffles the alarm sound and i can't hear it and i sleep through it and i just fucking die and everything is ruined and i end up passing out around like 4 a.m got like four hours of sleep got up at 8 a.m because i'm a girl and i had to make sure i look presentable before i go out so i don't look like a fucking swamp witch and i show up with this hair appointment and it was really chill it was too chill it was like this business run by i don't know how much i can say because i don't want to like dox anything but it was like two like guys that are like married to each other that have their own business and they have like the chillest like laid back salon i've ever been to and i was on four hours of sleep i laid back in that fucking like shampoo chair where they wash your hair before they cut it and i fucking dozed off it was over sounds gay but not sure it was like gay cozy vibes you know this gay cozy vibe salon i leaned back in that fucking shampoo chair i was gone i was a fucking goner and i actually i'm not even kidding i dozed off for like it felt like a minute but it was probably less than that and i woke myself up snoring like i did one of these and I tried to play it off like I was just clearing my throat. I went like... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, allergies. My allergies are pretty bad today. And I, I know, I know I'm the fucking laughing stock now. I know I'm the fucking laughing stock. <laughs> it's too relaxing. Normally I get kind of like nervous when I get my hair done. But I was so, like, sleep-deprived and the atmosphere was way too chill. They had a fucking, like, 80s music playlist going, too. Of, like, some of my favorite songs, like Tears for Fears and shit. New Order, Depeche Mode. It was way too relaxing. Yeah, it made it, it, made it way worse. <laughs> Hair looks good, though? Yeah, bro, they... Honestly, like... I think it's my favorite salon that I've been to yet. I've been sampling the LA areas, hair <laughs> salons, looking for like the golden salon, you know? I don't know how many of you guys go and get your hair cut. It's tough to find like uh, a stylist that you click with. Like you gotta you got have like all bases covered. Like do they do your hair how you like it? Do they make your hair smell nice and feel nice after? Do you feel refreshed and like a queen when you leave that place? And uh, is, is the conversation okay or is it like, do you feel awkward? You know, you got me addicted to Aether Gazer. I'm sorry, how's your functor? 
Allergies are bad everywhere. You'll blame Canada. Bro, I saw that shit. The like time lapse footage of New York slowly being engulfed by like orange smog. That shit is scary. I'm kind of worried about my mom and my brother because they live in Michigan and I don't know if the wildfire smoke is gonna start like changing course. Like, I don't know what the direction of the winds are like over there. <laughs> It looks like oblivion over there. It's really bad in the Midwest. Oh. Yeah, I remember there was wildfire smoke that got pretty bad when I lived in Washington. I think that's when the California wild wildfires like coming up. And we in Seattle, like there's no fucking air conditioning or anything. You have to like open your windows to let the air in i couldn't open my windows i had to keep them closed and i was just like dying running like an air purifier just felt like awful shit complete sludge garbage shit draw distance really got nerfed. <laughs> there's too much motion blur on <laughs> i have a friend in upper michigan and she already has breathing problems oh fuck Is anyone else's stream having a bit? Uh, not on my end. I don't see any drop frames. Might be Twitch having problems if there's any problems like that. I didn't notice watching the uh, the game showcase this morning, which honestly I am so disappointed. I'm not even gonna. <sighs> I'm shaking my fucking head. My fucking internet. I'm saying my prayers for your internet. Wait, do I still have the mess thing on my- Oh, I forgot about that. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't you like Final Fantasy VII? I mean, I do. I'm excited for part two of the Final Fantasy VII remake. I think it'll be interesting. I think it's cool. But I already knew that shit was coming out. They already announced like the part two and showed like a sneak peek of it, didn't they? Like, they announced that shit, like, forever ago. Just boof it. Starting soon. Meth. I was hoping for, like, Elden Ring DLC or, like, Grand Theft Auto 6. <laughs> they were teasing Grand Theft Auto 6. And you know what? Fucking Dorito Pope McGee... Mountain Dew, Jeff Keighley, he knew. He was playing with everyone. He was toying with everyone the entire showcase, being like, well, here it is, guys. Here's what you've been waiting for. The rumors are true. And then he just plays like a trailer that everyone already saw before. Wait, there's Persona 3 remake trailer links right after? Is that real? I saw that on Twitter. Did they leak it? Did Atlas leak it or did like a, a, a do batter leak it? I would feel bad watching it if it's like actually Hey Nai, you looking forward to that new Yakuza game? Oh, yeah. Also, I hope you have the a good day today. Kiryu game. They're like finally bringing him back as a main character of uh, the Yakuza games, right? Because they've been like having different main guys for the past few ones. They're bringing him out of retirement. Yeah, it looks cool. And the uh... That Lord of the Rings game looked really cool. And that one game that was kind of like... It was like Transistor Hades kind of game. That one looked cool. What was it called? It was called like... Wababa Tanga or something. It had like fucking uh... What was the name? Do you know the name? Shawala. Lasagna. The name was like lasagna or something. Lashwan. Lasagna. Baba. Baba Bui. Lazinga. Yeah. In the Tonga, like Willy Wonka. Fuck. Nobody knows. The, yeah. The Time Warrior. The Time Warrior. Lasagna. The Time Warrior. Holy shit. Persona 3 remake got leaked. That's enough to make me K. <laughs> Massive bells. Massive bells. Wait, this is on Gamers Prey. Gamers Prey? 
Persona 3 remake official trailer? Wait, did Atlas themselves post this? Or did someone like dig this up and post it without their consent? This is real? Lis... Lis Fungus? Lis Fungus the Time Warrior? Atlas accidentally leaked? They posted it on accident? Oh, they're probably doing the thing where they're like, Whoopsie! I accidentally posted something, so hope nobody finds this and spreads it everywhere. Whoops! Whoopsie! They posted it by accident and removed it? What got leaked? It's the remake for the Persona... I mean, the trailer for the Persona 3 remake. Which had been like... There was rumors floating around about it for the past few months or so. Oopsie daisy! Better than accidentally posting a cock and ball? Can you imagine if you were a social media manager? Oh man, that kind of job would stress me the fuck out. I feel so bad for social media manager people. What is Atlas like? A uh, picture of their cotton balls. Everyone in the company. Everyone. Wait, do you want to watch it? Oh, and I heard the, the Lies of P demo was out I'm very too. excited for Spider-Man 2 game and the fantasy game. I'm so hyped. Spider-Man 2! Let's go! Thank you, Mizuki Kurosaki! Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake looks really cool. I played the first part of it. And I'm looking forward to when the next part comes out. I'm just like, I think remakes like that are cool. Don't get me wrong. I think it's exciting. It's cool to see like your favorite scenes from an old game like remade in HD and re-visualized, revamped. And I like that they're doing kind of like a new spin on it. Just to, so it's not just a straight remake. There's stuff to speculate on. There's like new twists and turns and shit. Who knows what Nomura is gonna do because he is crazy. So that part of it is exciting. I just like, I don't know, Final Fantasy VII, it came out like 20 years ago. That game was really good. I'm more excited for the new Final Fantasy game, if you ask me. I want new new. I want full new new. I want more new new game. I want. New Final Fantasy game! I'm scared for the new Final Fantasy 7. I am uh, cautiously optimistic. I'm not taking it too seriously. I think it's a really cool project. And who knows what Nomura's gonna do. He might do some like batshit insane lore shit with it. And I'm just uh, I'm just there for the ride. For whatever happens in that new story. And it's, it's cool to see, like, the classic Final Fantasy VII moments in 4K. No game! Final Fantasy XVI the greatest RPG nobody will ever play because it's on the PS5? Well, aren't you happy that the PS5 is finally getting a second game? <laughs> like, it has two whole games now! I can finally dust off this thing and boot up a new fucking Final Fantasy game. Can you believe that? I can't believe I'm, I made it. I've lived long enough to see another era of Final Fantasy. I'm so fucking pumped. Neander's got something very important to bring up. Uh huh. Okay. Bows. <laughs> Bows. <laughs> what the fuck, oh, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We now return what? you back to Nyaner's stream. What? what was that whisper part? Thank you, Melis Baker. I appreciate that. Balls! Oh my god, you know what you reminded me of? With the, 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 the goth voice? Bro, last night, I was laying in bed, trying to fall asleep, and I found, um, this channel that does prank calls with various video game character voices like a soundboard like the classic kind of prank call it's just all in good fun it's funny soundboard meme and they use like oblivion npc voice lines and there was one of fucking here let me just find it and show you joffrey joffrey from oblivion 
Joffrey calls jewelry stores for the Amulet of Kings. This is like... That's so fucking good. Hold on. Here, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second. Yeah, like the Duke Nukem one. Spread shit on my balls. Okay, here, let me get in react position. I've got balls of steel. This is from a channel called Ice and Jam. Oh my god, this video is five years old. Bring back, like, funny but, like, good spirited prank calls. I think that's such good content. I don't like bothering people who are just like trying to do their job, especially if they're in like customer service because their jobs are already hard enough. But like if you, I don't know, you can make it work by not being like obnoxious about it, you know? Like how there's like, there's prank channels that are really like uncomfortable to watch because you can tell that they're just like, they have no decorum and they're just being an asshole. Just causing problems on purpose but there's other prank channels that are just like they're just a uh, just good clean wholesome fun and they they make someone's day by being goofy and silly and it's not really at the pranks aren't really at anyone's expense that's the best kind of prank none of that like i don't know like breastfeeding my girlfriend in public prank or whatever <laughs> actually that'd be a pretty good prank but you'll look ooh. This is so dumb, bro. Yeah, pranks where both people can laugh are the best. I agree. Joffrey calls jewelry stores for the Amulet of Kings. Good afternoon. Christine speaking. Wait, why Hello? are they rushing Hello? How can I help you? <laughs> Do you have a moment? There's something we need to discuss. <laughs> bro, the way the guy uses the soundboard is so clean. Like, he makes it sound like an actual conversation. Like, how does he know... How does it make it flow so well and like find the best responses and questions and shit? Hello? Do you have the Amulet of Kings? <laughs> I do not. Really? I do not. Are you no. sure? Pretty sure. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. <laughs> that would explain why I don't have it. Until you reclaim the amulet and Martin lights the dragon fires, the enemy will not be truly defeated. Where I would shall like I look the for it? You Fuck. need to get the Mysterium Xarxes from the Mythic Dawn Shrine of Dagon. It is our only hope to retrieve the amulet of kings. <laughs> Bro, she just hung up on a whole quest. Greetings, High Elf. Hi. Do you have the amulet? Greetings, the Hi Amulet Elf. of Kings. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand you. What do you know of the Emperor's death? Hello, um, what can I help you with? <laughs> do you have the Amulet of Kings? No, I don't. I don't. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jewelry. Do, do I... you have the Amulet? Do I what? <laughs> do you have the uh, Amulet of oh Kings? Oh no, this guy is so pissed. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hear me out before you leave. Wait, did don't you understand? The same me? guy? I don't even know what you're talking about. What is an amulet of kings? <laughs> when an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. He's explaining. City. He's explaining. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a pawn shop. What would you when an emperor. <laughs> I wish for you to find the amulet of kings. I don't know what you're talking so about. That's why obviously I don't have an amulet of kings. <laughs> you need to get the Mysterium Xarxes from the Mythic Dawn Shrine of Dagon. Uh -huh. It is our only hope to retrieve no, no, the no, amulet no. of hey, kings. Hey, buddy, buddy. Hey, buddy. Listen, I don't want to talk to you any longer. <laughs> so buddy, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it is our only hope to retrieve no, the no, amulet no, I, of hey, kings. Hey, buddy, buddy. Listen. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you any longer. I don't want to talk don't to you any longer. <laughs> if I was ever rude to you before, I'm sorry. Oh. You deserve my gratitude. Jeffrey. Your gratitude for what? I don't Let know me who explain. You are. 
Let me explain what is at stake. Are you selling Until you something reclaim here? the amulet and... <laughs> no. Listen to me. I'm not interested. Until you reclaim the amulet and Martin lights the dragon fires, the, dragon the enemy miles. will not be truly defeated. Please accept the okay, quest. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm 72 years old. I don't give a shit. <laughs> The world can go whichever way it wants to go. I'm sorry, but don't call me back. You're if you a keep big calling fat me, I'm going to call the police. You what better explain your what big fat me, I'm gonna, Don't call me say? back. You're if you a keep big calling fat me, I'm going to call the police. You better explain yourself now. I don't have to explain myself to you. I don't know who you are. You're a who, big who, who, fat why, why do I explain something to a, a, someone who's not even in this country? <laughs> I'm Brother Joffrey. Well, you, brother, I don't know who Brother Jeffrey is. <laughs> I'm not involved. Leave me alone. I am the you Grand call Master. Call back again, the... and I'm going to call the police and say I'm <laughs> being harassed on the phone. Listen, but the blades answer only to the so Emperor, good. of course. We are not an arm of the government. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, and this is Joshua speaking. How oh, can I Joshua. help you? Oh, Joshua. Yes. Hello. Jeffrey How can sounds I help you so today? polite. Do you have the Amulet of Kings? <laughs> the Amulet of Kings? Yes. No, we do not. This guy's chill. Really? No, we we, we have he never had an Amulet of Kings. Are you sure? The what Amulet of Kings... Like? The Amulet of Kings is ancient. St. <laughs> Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. Are you sure? Who is this? I am the Grand Master of the Blade. Oh, you're I'm the Brother Master. <laughs> yes. I'm Brother Joffrey. Your grand yeah, master. we don't have anything like that, unfortunately. You can try our other pawn shops, though. They might have it. Aww. Really? Yeah. You're so helpful. And you positive. have earned a place of honor in the rolls of our order for recovering the holy relic. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that. Aww. Only the strange destiny of Uriel <laughs> Septim could have brought you to me. Jigga Chad. Have a good one now, sir. <laughs> wait, wait, is there one with Maik the liar? He's my favorite kid, so... Yeah, that was so wholesome, what the fuck? What other prank oh. do I have? He has like... Oh, he has like every video game. He has like Solid Snake, JC Denton, Raiden from Mortal Kombat. The Merchant from Resident Evil? Bro, this guy is prolific. Whoa! Wait, who is Cicero from Skyrim? Mm. Wait, don't tell me. I, I haven't found him yet. You know what I'm really pissed about? I never found this adoring fan guy in Oblivion. Hooker prank? What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Missing child prank? Oh! Septimus searches for an Elder Scroll. Fuck, they don't have Maik the Liar, my favorite. He's my favorite guy. Look her prank. <laughs> I think they're like literally calling prostitutes. You can just use a phone and call a prostitute? What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, who is Glarthier? Yeah, may I direct your call? Yes, you. We need to talk. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Yes, sir. Followed I'm being by followed. <laughs> I need you to check out some people for me. Oh, the ones who a... are following Bro, me. Bro, is this the quest uh, that we almost did, but I forgot to finish it? With, like, the guy who, like, comes up to you and he's like... Blah, blah, blah. You have reached a... We're located yeah, this is the hooker prank. Yes. You would have to contact someone in your area. No. Oh. I know too much. <coughs> you Hello. Miss Mods, is it like a Hello? bad quest? Go ahead. 
you would need to contact. Are you from <laughs> Canada? Canada. No. I'm They're sorry, watching. sir. You think <laughs> I'll pay you. I love this voice actor. We, we, we don't need have to with this you voice. You have to get in touch with the law enforcement no. in your area. Gold. You like gold, don't you? <laughs> Lots of gold. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> yes. Uh, Here's my problem. I'm being followed. <laughs> I'm being followed. You're being followed? Yes. <laughs> okay. I need you to check out I'm some people followed. for me. The ones who are following me. They're following okay. me. I know too much. So, so, so tell me more. Who's following them? Are they you know, in a car? Or are they in a wagon? Or... Her house is almost directly across the street from mine. Southwest of the Great Chapel. House is almost Colons. directly across the street from Fort Potter. The Great Chapel. <laughs> and? Coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. And Let's where is this supposedly happening? Well, Skingrad! Oh, skin grab. Hello. Yeah. Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. Really? Okay. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's well, where oh, you oh, come Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Like I want to transfer you over to the... Uh, being followed department. <laughs> How can I help you? Yes. Will you help me? Yeah, what can I do for you? Here's my problem. Oh, I'm being followed. This lady sounds nice. I need but you to I check do. out some... <laughs> Maybe the mythic dawn? Or the <laughs> alien revivalists? Um, well, what did you want me to do about it? I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are oh following me. Those guys are Let me help. Well, Can you, what's yes. your address? What's the location that you're at right now? Oh, no. Skingrad. <laughs> Go ahead. I need. Do you need help? By the great tub. Well, yes. I'll pay. All right. Well, I'm. You know what? <laughs> I'm being followed. Go ahead, please. Well, I I have no information to help you. Oh I don't know who's following she you. She actually wants to I, help. I feel bad. I don't know how you expect me to help. <clears throat> or how you found sexiest. this number. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the large house between the low gate and the east bridge. <gasps> alone. Suspicious, don't you think? Well, you know yes. what? I have your number. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do here. Yeah, I wonder and if they ever like, that, got okay? someone to accept the quest. Well, yes. Can I get your name, maybe? They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Okay, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find I'm gonna see what I can find out for you, dude, okay? And I'll call you back. Very good. You won't be sorry. Yes. Do you think she'll yeah. call back? I'll pay you well. Or is she just say that trying already? to get out of it? Hello. Hmm. She never Thank called back and said Mapmi Shabyanin. Yes. Glossier. Glossier. Thank you. And may also have your uh, verbal passcode. Skin grad. <laughs> Thank you. And how may I help you today? Here's my problem. Skin grad is like the worst I'm being element. followed. Uh -huh. I'm being followed. Okay. I need you to check I'm out some people for me. <laughs> the ones who are following me. What's the service number associated with your account so that I can pull it up? I don't know. So is Hello. this just yeah, like I'll need different the phone neighborhood so that I'll watch be able to pull up your account? For like I know too much. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Uh -huh. How does that um, work? Yes, yeah, sir. I'll is pay it just you. like the number that's on like the neighborhood I'm sorry, watch sir, poster that they I'll put need up? an account number for me to be able to check your account, sir. For me to be able to help you out. Huh? What's your phone no. number? No. They're watching. No. They can't know you're helping me. Be outside I my house like, at 6 a.m. He goes like, you see how much you're doing? Are you still looking at shocking me? Hello. I'm sorry, sir. What's your account number? Yes, sir. I'm still here. Go ahead, please. 
Uh, do you have some? I wonder what it's like yes. to be called Do you sir? have somebody with you who can uh, give the phone number? I feel like it has like a different feeling than being called no. ma'am. What's your service address, sir? When you get called I'll like sir, I'll make it worth or, your like, while. Uh, I'll pay you. I don't know. Chief? Uh, no, sir. Uh, okay, because chief. I'll need an account sir, for me to be able big. to assist yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't Being called too... ma'am just feels like, I don't know, I don't like it. Yes, ma'am. Like, having someone say, like, oh, yes, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. I don't know. It just makes me feel old and, like, decrepit. Yeah, it's too elegant sounding, too. It makes me feel like I'm, like, a... Older Victorian woman in my like fainting room or something being called sir. I don't know. It's like being called champ. Like, yeah, champ. Let's go champ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How do you? How does it feel if you could be a sir? I, I usually get called miss like, okay, miss. Actually, I can't really remember the last time I was called ma'am. I've been, I've been called ma'am, like, over the phone. Like, well, calling up my bank or whatever. Yes, ma'am. Mm, feels powerful. Yeah, like, being a sir. Like a sir, like a gentle sir. It's like, it feels like you're being empowered. What other things, like, do you get called other than, like, sir? There's, like, yes, uh, chief? Yes, champ? Mister? Boss? Oh, like, being called boss? Okay, boss. Sir, boss. Yeah, boss. Big guy? Young man? I feel like being called young man is, like, I don't know, that feels like you're being written off. Like you're being talked down to. Boss man? Big fella? Big fella! Okay, fella! Okay, big boss. King? Yeah, being called king? Like, yeah, yeah. Sure, king. That's great, king. Okay, father. <laughs> okay, chief. Bro, being called chief is like... I feel like the only person who would call you that is someone like a little league coach. But that would be- that would be empowering. Girls don't have as many, like, terms of endearment like that when they're being, like, addressed. There's, like, miss, ma'am, and, like, queen. Like, go off, queen. What- what do girls even get? Captain? Lady? But if someone said, like, okay, lady, at me, I'd feel like... That's weird. That that seems like condescending. Okay, lady. Or sweetie. Okay, sweetie. I mean, if like a nice old lady called me... Bro, sweetheart. If like an old lady called me sweetheart, that would be nice. Not madame. Madame... Madame makes me feel like I'm like 80 years old, wasting away on the couch in like a room full of cats. Bless your heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bless your heart. Honey, sugar. Aren't you? No. No. Fart nugget? <laughs> okay, fart nugget. <laughs> okay, farty pants. <laughs> okay, pookums. <laughs> Pookie. Okay, sugar boogers. <laughs> Cupcake? Ugh. Okay, little pooper. Okay, you guys wanna play Skyrim? <laughs> Fuck. Miss and Mrs. have generally positive connotations? Yeah. But they don't carry the same weight as being called like... Sir or King, you know? Bro, someone being called Miss or Mrs. They don't ride into battle. You know who rides into battle? A chief, or a sir, a sir knight, uh, a boss. No one uses king? I see it all the time! Like on Twitter, like, a guy will post a picture like, Oh, just got home, eating a, a sub from Subway, living my best life. 
Cop comments are like, hell yeah, king. You go off, king. Let's go, king. Twitter isn't real. I wish. I wish you were right about that. Okay, let's load up Skyrim. We have precious time. Precious little time. And I want to play Skyrim right now. Mm. Chief and boss can be gender inclusive? They can. But I feel like... I don't know. It's like not normal for like... Society at large to call a girl a boss or a chief. <laughs> Mistress? Now that just sounds perverse. I don't like that. That sounds gross. Make it normal? Okay, we're gonna normalize it. Normalize? Calling me chief. We are dragon and beef, and we will play them all. We will play, we will win, we will go and to win. Okay, here we are. Society never calls women Dover King Dragonborn. See, that's what I'm fucking saying. Four saves in two days? I've been saving like crazy, I will say. I have no business with you. Leave me. Okay, Ghoulam E. Yeah! Oh. So where we left off, we accepted the quest to, make requests. to infiltrate Fletching this place me. It's difficult and sometimes with tedious, intel from but a well -made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Acknowledge her? Who? Her? Okay, I'll acknowledge her. <laughs> she takes so long to get home. Holy fuck. Oh, many goblets for me to take. I'll be taking that. Normally, I'm walking the around like you're a little goblin, taking what you want. If you need Normally, it's having more goblin days. To not today. I'm having my Emo goblin day. So bad. Keeps me I'll make sure to get Have you ever days are done. tried like crinkling up your nose really, really high until like your gums are showing and you look like a little mole rat? There's nothing like a good song to lift. Bulmatic community give Melbourne the equipment. Okay. So we have to tell Fear Melbourne that we are times. ready to go. Glad you decided and then we to can check start the mission. You ready yet? I need to get back before I missed. Remember, you won't have Sounds anything like except what I smuggle in for you. Uh, <coughs> no? I'm ready. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. Okay. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you, Chief. We can go meet Delphine at the stables now. Soft sheets and hard liquor. What's not to like? Your what? job is to get into the party sense. without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Yes? Being fingered as a spy? What the heck is he talking about? You guys, Feel I don't think this game requests. is for kids. I think there's some raunchy stuff in this game. Holy fuck, my throat is so fucked. Why does that happen to me? Sorry, I gotta use my real voice more. <coughs> she doesn't know? Divine's blessing. Does James Bond know what it's like to be fingered as a spy? James Bond getting fingered in his little butthole? That's why they call him 007. Okay, Lydia. Go off. Okay, so... Do we just go to the stables here? Or like a specific stable? Queen Delphine at the stables. Show on that. Right here? I think that's... You didn't mark the quiz? Oh. Oh! Oh, right here, yeah. 
Oh, I didn't mean to that. That's not bad. I'm still wondering what happened to my original horse that I bought with 1,000 hard-earned gold. I take care of the there she is! And the goat. Have you driven Nalborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, the deed is done. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really It'll believe... It'll turn up eventually, yes. yeah. Which means you need to look the part my and not be armed horse. to the teeth. My award-winning horse. Here, put this on. When you're ready. I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. The dragon smoked it and he missed it? You no, 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 we defeated the dragon and we rode off whatever you can into pick up victory. Inside. She got her eyeliner on sale. She's got that drugstore makeup look. I respect that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. Huh? She's talking shit about my fan. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. So do I equip the shit that you gave me? I don't know. No, 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 Poppy clothes. Is that enough for you? Do I look good now? You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed well, like that. Well, come on! I look good. I got my party clothes on. Party. Oh, I need the party boots. Is there a party hat? You can't go to You I guess I had to take off my hood. Party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I'm so picky. You can't go I have to take off everything except the party clothes? Even my stamina necklace? Party at the Thal I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. She's so ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we Don't need. Don't worry, I'm your guy. Good luck. You think Delphine would call me chief or boss? Let's go, boss. Ah, a fellow latecomer to Melanie's little soiree. Oh, I like that word. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. I'm gonna have a little soiree. My the lateness day my is birthday. new, more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain. Guys, Any better bring me presents. Late. I prefer to arrive early, I'm going to often cry. the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Fuck yeah, brother! Please, you first. I There's not enough I'm drinking in the world today. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I just started my midday drinking. Woke up and made a hot pot and cold. Rest here. Damnably cold out here. His feet are on the ground. Back now. Are you coming, bro? Perhaps we might share a carriage after the party. <laughs> I know, I know. We just met, but think. By the time the party is over, oh, we'll he's no like kicking his little feet. Friends. I look forward to it. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Oh, we're here already. Ah, oh, here you go. Is there a problem? Just a minute. I think I left it on the cart. Ah, uh, I have it with me, right? Thank you, sir. Go right in. Oh. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc. Et look around you. I, I just thought I got duty, really sir. cold all of a sudden. Everything's in order. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. <laughs> Went on a trip. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, so Go this right is what Thalmor is on? Is already started. Are they just dark elves? They have jaundice. Go right on in. You got Guests jaundice. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. Why, why do they talk so quiet? They're high elves? They're Please ultra racist the high elves? Like RTX ultra racist? The With ray tracing? <laughs> With ray tracing? <laughs> Welcome. Jesus, the cheekbones on this flick. I am Ellenwyn. 
the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Check the bottom of your capture window. You're leaking nine swash. What? What am I leaking? Oh, shit. It's cut off again. I'm sorry. Holy fuck. Please, Please madam, me tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this? Tell me fix. <laughs> to Skyrim. Hello. My name is Maik the Liar. You can bring a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. Does that look better, guys? I'm so sorry. Leaking from the top now? Wait, where? I don't see it. It looks flush to me. Looking good? It's good? Much better? Thank you. Thank you kindly. What is it, Malborn? Well, it's just that we've Malborn. run out of the Alto wine. Alto! Do I have your permission to uncork the... I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. She is. Yes, Madam Ambassador. Doing something. Oh, she is called Madam. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. Yes, thank you. Why do they look like they got like dirt on their cheekbones? It's been a brutal winter. I can't the remember sky? the last time it was this cold and for this long. I could. Oh, they have. <gasps> It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. Oh fuck! What have you heard? Oh fuck! Nobody saw I'm that. Not sure oh fuck! Oh shit! But lately it seems <gasps> like every Apple pie? Okay, I can just take any of this that I want. Not really a fair there's sweet rolls. What if I fart it on the sweet After rolls? All, the I want to fart on the sweet rolls. Please. Is my star? You're on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the fucking like <laughs> the lady in my earpiece, my earpiece, while I'm like infiltrating on a secret spy mission, and I'm like, oh man, really want to fart on these sweet rolls. No, 007, please. You need to, you need to focus on the mission. I'm your Kodak. <laughs> Wait, please, I just... I know it'll be so funny if I farted on them and they went flying and everyone like yelled. Please. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. For throat. Oh, sh Wait, I can't. I can't fart here. They're safe for now. I need to focus on the true sweets. I look forward to the day when this rebellion is put down and we once again have peace. I couldn't agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? Oh, what rumors you got? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> there it are seems they have spoken, some kind of anti fart field set up. <sighs> My shit's jammed. For they are adept in both languages. We're gonna have to disable the anti fart system. Ooh. Oh, they got bread and cheese. Oh, ah, they got a whole poo poo platter going on. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, sorry guys, it's, cool. it's just train time. I look forward to the day when this rebellion is put down and we once again. Won't they notice if I take the knife? Yeah, I agree with you. Have you heard any news from the other parts of Skyrim? Have you visited Warwick State lately? No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never falter. If someone, if you really had Even to fart and someone asked you to like fart out loud for them, by, the would you be able to do it or would you get like anxiety? Is it good fortune? The blessings of the divine? <laughs> Who knows? You would do it? Like, wanting to do it? And being able to do it, I feel like are different things. It's like, some people have like a shy bladder. Would you get like too worked up and not be able to warm the a fart? Very much so. Thank you. I would start shaking. Excellent. Like a, like a little leaf, it. like a little dog. I am a cat and I have to knock things off the table. Just cat things. Just cat things. It's just cat things. Guys, 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 guys. I'm a cat. Well, <laughs> just cat things! Too, Guys, I've... look! What does a fellow need to do? Guys, to look! Just cat things! Just cat what things! Can I get if it fits, I fit! Woo! Ooh, look at all this stuff I can knock over! Ooh. Ooh. 
Is it stars? I suppose so. Yes. They don't even notice. Oh, they're food. Huh? Wait, what was everyone talking about? Jarl Id Grod Ravencrow. So there are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. Oh! Having a good time? Fair faces and them? fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. I see. You visit the I'm embassy sure often? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. Oh! So, wait, why are you here? Who's this guy? Eric. The man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. There, oh, he's here to strike some looking The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Altmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. Making some money moves? Not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. True. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. My friends are As my for power. honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. <laughs> what brings you to this party? You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. Was he like I the Paris Hilton of Skyrim? of importance, Solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let oh, peace been playing and prosperity I flourish been playing. between the Empire like and the Altmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit. You there, serving girl. What's your name, dear? Serving girl. Oh, right, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's these not people. what I'm interested in right now. These I just elves. wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. Oh, jeez, he's being a creep. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Don't look at her. Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. What the fuck? Yes, sir. I'm so glad W you could rise. Today. <laughs> Did you see that serving girl? <laughs> what did he say? I heard elf women are insatiable. What does he mean by that? None of these people cares a whit hey, about the religious up, aspects of this war. I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Your that guy's a freaking chump. Here you go, sir. Colovian brandy. Oh, Colossum You should stream Headman games, I'm image sorry, in the shenanigans. Oh, I streamed, uh, I think Hitman 3, a few missions from that, like a year ago, and it was really fun. I'd like to play... Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so glad you could fuck? attend today. <laughs> I'd like to play again. Killing people the is fun. The hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service. Insatiable equals can't be satisfied needs more and more. I, I know that much, but... Maybe he means Please, like when they when they eat food. Like they, they just love you? good food. Wait, can I request a song from Ildi? Uh, These parties are a great way to earn a little Ulfric's extra money. At least Ulfric's men are willing to fight for their principles. Barbaric as they I was be. talking to someone. On it's Dormar? a necessary part of my job to mix with the upper classes of Skyrim. Is this what parties Such are as like? They are. Uh, what brings you to this party? Holy fuck, I have to go to a party on Saturday. I'm scared. I'm scared. Are we invited? Uh, yeah. And it's at five o'clock. Better, better show up. Yeah, it's a, a friend's birthday party. I, I don't know if I can say who. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I guess you just don't give a shit, huh? I guess you just don't give a care. At where? I don't know. It's uh in real life. 
And I know Tecton might be there. He like extended his trip so he could go to this party. This creepy guy is looking at me. Ah, uh, what are your duties here in Skyrim? I lead the Justicias. We are charged with enforcing it's the ban on Talos. House, yeah. It's Nords kind of like a big deal. Stubborn. It's a big They're slow like, to change their ways, and we party. find more heretics every day. You guys probably won't be interested. But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. Mm. There are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Another June baby? Yeah, bro, what the fuck is up with most like, people being the born in June lately? Policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. Huh? I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. Should we cooperate with them? Until next time. Maybe the Thalmor are just misunderstood. They seem The degeneracy fine. of the Empire is on display here in this room. What? Make a fucking YouTube video about it then. You whiner. Who else should we talk to? This lady eating some bread? The Wait, we talked to you already. Of the Thalmor oh embassy. god. She's got those Gordon Ramsay uh -huh. rifts. Those deep creases. Oh yeah, this guy looks uh, to get to drunk. Get drink around here. here, I brought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst all the gathering of and pinch pennies and well, all my chat pedals. is me on if alt accounts, so I'd be worried if they weren't. Do for you, do not <laughs> hesitate the same to me. call upon me. Thanks, I'll let you be a yank. Your wish is my command. As long as it doesn't involve much physical activity. <laughs> Shouldn't be having trouble staying on my feet at the moment. This guy's a lightweight. I gave him one drink. This lady has the armor that kind of looks like the uh the ladies from the shield rad place. I'm sorry, sir. I'm on duty. Sorry, little lady. She probably smells good, as in like she is good at smelling. We are not supposed to talk to the guests. Okay, whatever. What can I get for you, sir? I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. Oh, you cheeky I'll be fucker. waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Wait, he said that so loud. What the fuck? Eh, like the guards are watching though. Yes, what do you need? Mm-hmm, until next time. Yeah, we're gonna have to distract everyone somehow. I already knocked all the food on the ground. Whoa! You know what I could do? I could use one of those chaos scrolls and put it on. It's a someone. necessary part of my job to mix with Or would the that be too of much Skyrim. of a distraction? I feel like people dying would be a little too much. Oh, I can take anything I want. Purple mountain flower? What's up, Maven Blackbriar? I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Oh, maybe I can make someone else act a fool. Yeah, like maybe get the drunk guy even drunker until he causes a scene. What's your relationship with the Thalmor? We have a relationship of mutual respect. Mm -hmm. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the She looks like Empire. she's got that old lady smell. But I do respect power. And the Smell Thalmor have that. Flesh. They leave me alone Hey, Dragonborn, I'll be waiting by the door to do our big heisty heist once you're done <laughs> distracting everyone. Try not to trip on your bells on the way over. Your bells. She just fucking created bread. She's eating it without opening her mouth or even, like, connecting with the, the object. How do you do that? My friend, a toast to a beautiful friendship. Yes! There's something you can do for me. Of course! I would do anything for you, my one and truest friend. What do you need from me? Light yourself on fire. I need you to cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> my friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is 
Somewhat of a specialty. Yeah, of you mine. drunk, sloppy. Fuck. Stand back and behold my handiwork. <laughs> what is he gonna do? I believe in your devious mission. You got this. Silence. Pause. Pause. Bass. I have an announcement to make. What's he gonna do? I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Before okay, anyone let's go, let's go, Nothing could Close be more unlikely than that someone <gasps> would actually want her in their bed. Although, wait, I need to get my gear. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we need good, to we're pass good. through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. The what? Just stay close and let me do any talking. What's a larder? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange Oh, I didn't in give him any of this. A guest <laughs> feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. Whoa, fuck! I you thought it did it automatically. Place. I thought it just like uh, took it out I when I hit that. that. Moon sugar was permitted. I'm not sure. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here! I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on! If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Oh fuck! In here? It's empty. Is the food I so wait. So wait. I have nothing. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Oh. Yeah, I have magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't need shit. I just need my fucking flames and old sparks. Wait, I'll put on healing and fire boat. I need to lock the door behind you. All I need the is these might hands. Something's wrong. I got everything up here, you know. Uh, you can't see it right now. You can hear it. I'm pointing at my head. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Wait, which door? Let me do the docking. Okay. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Okay, like that. Did you see those robes? You're on your own now. Oh fuck. Who are they with? More of the emissaries treaty. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I have no, magic power. Mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally. I'll only attack out of self-defense. Ah, good. I've been Who knows? Maybe I can just like play dumb. Like, if a dragon Whoa, does shit, where am I? Just act like I got really drunk. First. Might give Whoa, us where's time to the kill. party, guys? Ah, I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down. You need to sneak. Always looking down their so noses. So if I'm found at all, sloggers. I will be fucked. <laughs> well, we better get back to our rounds. What? Where? They can't see me. Wait. What if I take this? <sighs> it's like a hitman mission. Now, now I look like a Thalmor, don't I? They won't know. They don't know. Wait, is there a hood? I don't think there's a hood in here. I hear footsteps though. More like thou meow? Oh, uh, that's my word. I will take the cheese. It's not like they'll they'll notice it. Oh! Holy fuck. My sneak increased. I hear someone. Are they coming? Oh no. Oh Jesus. I'm crouching, right? How come I don't see the... Does the eye icon only come up if you're detected? Is it not like an oblivion where it's just like dark? And lights up if you're seen. 
Okay, the eye opens when detected. Detective. He didn't see anything. He didn't see anything. I hear someone up here. I'm gonna shit in the potted plant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. He did not see. I saved up here. We need to go this way. Okay. There's someone just beyond this wall. They're rooting about, jonesing around, cruising for a cruising. The Weimar history and culture sounds so lame. Oh, shit! How did I knock that over? Was that my tail? That thing has a mind of its own. Should have come here. You'll pay with your life. <gasps> Wait, can you be detected and be hidden again? Like they'll forget that they saw you? They'll be like, hmm, I guess it was just my ma my imagination. My ma imagination. Why am I so laggy? You guys notice that? What the fuck? Hold on a second. This is gonna actually like. This is adding friction points to my brain. Here, I'm fixing it. I was testing shit for my 3D model last night and trying to like set it up and get it all fine tuned and ready to go. And it was lagging on my 3D model program too. What the fuck? It's like never done that before. I don't know what was causing it. No 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 It might still lag a bit. I apologize if so. It's still fucking lagging! Maybe it's my phone. Maybe because the iPhone that I'm using for this, I haven't restarted it in a few months. It's probably fine, right? Oh god, it's still fucked. I haven't seen any leg. It's like, it's barely noticeable. Just pretend that, like, you're watching an anime and this is the anime episode where they ran out of budget and the animation looks like shit. Oh no, the eye is opening. Look at it, it's like, it's like winking. Yeah, it's like Evangelion. What the fuck are you doing? I'm out of magic. I don't have any potions or anything. Wait, we can't do this. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, most people probably don't notice it, but I notice it. When I like look over and I'm like talking and moving and it's just like stuck on one frame for like a millisecond, like now, like that. It drives me up the fucking wall. Yeah, now that I now that I called attention to it, people will notice it. And now, ah, ah, ah! I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. I'll, I gotta fix it. Or I'm going to go insane. Here, I'm fixing it. <laughs> it's 
Wait, my phone is so fucked. It's unfixable. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't hurt us. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> I'm just gonna bash your fucking brains in. Brains on the wall. How do Hey guys? How do I how do I restart an iPhone? Who's sniffing? You hear that? Oh fuck. Do you think they'll see? Oh my guy just walked right by. Hold power button. Hold the power button down. Okay, I'm holding it. It's... It's not working! Wait, volume down and power button? Oh shit! Slide the power off. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. Okay. Surely when I restart my phone, it'll be fixed. It won't lag anymore. Everything will run perfectly and it'll be really cool. You have to pay to restart it? I have to call up Apple Care, give them my credit card number, and they hold the funds until they fix it. Holy copium? No, it'll be fixed. Don't worry, guys. Ten dollars per restart? Oh god, this phone is like overcooked. This phone is overcooked too. <laughs> Look at my fucking. Big ass cat man just crouched behind this plant. He's probably eating the leaves and stuff. Cats like to do that. They like to jones around in a little potted plant, eat some of the leaves, and then throw it up later. Okay, I restarted my iPhone for the first time in months. <laughs> Who the fuck is sniffing? Right? Rebooting? 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 Time to buy a new one? <laughs> the iPhone that I use for VTube Studio, I got it in like 2020. Is the planned obsolescence really that bad? I could just use my other, my main phone that I use for drug deals. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm reconnecting, I'm reconnecting. Wait, this isn't making anyone dizzy, is it? Close your eyes for a second. It won't hurt. I promise. Just close your little eyes. Close your little eyes and smile a little smile. Think about times where you were happy as a child. Think about your happy little kid memories. Think about all the summers you spent spreading cheer and feeling free. Think about your life. Mm. Think about your childhood life. Think about how happy you were opening up presents on Christmas Day. Coming downstairs thinking, oh boy, so great. So many presents for me. From Santa. No, no, no. Even if you, even if you didn't have a good childhood, I'm I'm like rewriting your memories to give you a good childhood. The secret is you have to close your eyes and you have to focus on the memories. I'm I'm replacing them. I'm like replanting them. Like I plant in a potted plant. I'll plant a memory in your head. <laughs> you guys want to watch my memory planting stream? <laughs> Memories are like flowers. You have to plant them and nurture them and they will grow inside of you. The truth is inside of you. <laughs> I'm your little memory fairy. <laughs> Why don't you close your eyes and let me in? Let me remind you of real times that you were happy. I can't get this shit to work. Oh, uh, tits. Did you remember to take your meds? 
Did you remember to close your eyes? Okay, I think... Do you think it's better now? Implant memories more like implant these Sometimes it sounds like he's belching. <laughs> yes, better? Yes, better. Yes. Okay, let's do a, do a lag check, lag check, lag check. Bow. Oh shit, there's a guy. Shh. Recalibrating. Okay, he went downstairs. Wait, I hear another guy. It's so laggy, WTF. No, it's not! It's like way better now! I can actually move without it stuttering every two seconds. Jeez Louise! Are you guys hearing this crap? Are you guys crapping? Are you guys crapping in my toothpaste? I'm putting poop in my toothpaste. Okay, who put the poop in my toothpaste? If you speak up now and admit to it, I won't be mad. Have you ever been in a scenario where like you did something bad and like like in the classroom and the teacher pulls that one out? Like if you tell me who if if whoever did it comes forward right now, I won't be mad. Have you ever, like, fallen for that? Oldest trick in the book. If someone says, I won't be mad, they're already mad. They're already mad if they're pulling out that tactic. Just close, just close your mouth. Keep your mouth stitched shut. I did. I ripped the locker door. <laughs> you ripped... You what? <laughs> I'm just imagining a fucking like, uh, like a 30 year old, like really huge, buff, muscular guy who's like still in high school because he got held back like 20 years. <laughs> just like. Ah! Need something? Never should have. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me if I needed something. <laughs> How nice of him. Never oh, is this like a bad route or what? Maybe I'm not timing it right. Okay. Shit. I'm pretty sure you can't sneak this one. Are you sure? Maybe I'll just run away. Whoa! How do I close this menu? Oh, oh Zoinks, how are we gonna get out of this one? This is crazy! Here. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Stop, I'm gonna die. Stop it. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Wait. Okay. Healing in. Oh! My magic is running out. Just get him off. Fuck. Wait, there has to be a way to sneak around all that. There's no- Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay, here's what we'll do. Uh... Left, left, left hand? No, right hand? What button did I press for that again?
Toasty, roasty. Toasty, roasty. Roasty, toasty. Roast them, toast them. Roast them, toast them. Roast them, toast them. Roast them, toast them. Huh. Fire this. Now I'll just take all her shit. All her armor, all her gold. Look at her laying there, how fucking pathetic. What a loser. Harold? Who's the elven light armor now? I have your amulet too, you dumb bitch. What are you gonna do without your amulet? Wait, I want to still roast and toast them. Wait. <laughs> I keep forgetting what hand I equip my fucking weapon in. Okay. Death is the only way out of your misery. Oh, shit. Wait, actually... Maybe... Find a fucking potion. Biography of Berenzia? <gasps> can I use the drum? Like, can. Oh, there's a flute! Yes, there's a cupboard. Gold tank. Potion of haggling? Um, okay, sounds cool. Death bell? Sounds like a bad omen. You! Ah! Oh, no! Uh, he's gonna turn me into a rug? Rug this! Fuck you! You fucking... You're gonna get your fucking rug munched on. Fucking... Fucker! Fuck you! I'm gonna piss on your rug. Ooh, he had baked potatoes. An interrogation chamber? Okay, cool. Oh my god, he had so much stuff. Okay, turns out sneaking is stupid. What is that? Alto wine? Ooh, roll of paper? Bro, what if they were using these to like roll up a joint? Oh my god. Oh yeah, I can use my shout now. I forgot. Oopsie. Sorry. Dragon investigation. Current status. What is the sit rep on the dragons? Wait, there's another key. Thalmor Dossier Delphine? Oh, frick Stormcloak. I remember that guy. Everyone hates him for some reason. I want to read these dossiers. What is the intel on Delphine? Status active, capture, or kill? High priority, emissary level, approval? Female Breton, mid 50s. Oh, Delphine was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons. She was directly. Blah, 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 blah. Damaging operations carried out by the blades? Huh? She should be considered very dangerous and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation? What? She wants to read? No, I don't. I don't give a fuck. Wait. Go oh, freak Stormcloak. He's the Jarl of Windhelm, leader of Stormcloak Rebellion, Imperial Legion veteran. I don't want to read anymore. Now I'm self-conscious. I changed my mind. I hate reading now. I'm gonna harvest a snowberry just for that. You guys are making me want to harvest all the snowberries. <coughs> Fuck! So stupid! So fucking stupid! Whoa! This is expert level. I don't have lockpicks. Fuck. Potion of haggling? I will take. What's in here? Oop, 
keeps their cast iron pot in the wardrobe? The funk? What's this particular? Actually, 50 is this mid range MILF gilf age? What? I mean, you could be a grandma at age 50, couldn't you? I guess that makes sense. I'm searching this chest. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, damn garnet. A clothes iron? How did they use the iron out clothes back before, like, electric clothes irons were invented? Did they, like, use a tool like that and just heat it up on the fire? Did they iron clothes back then? They had to, right? Or maybe, like, wrinkles were fashionable at a certain point in time. When did it become fashionable to wear clothes that didn't have a single wrinkle in them? I heard there's actually, like, a, a beauty trend with unwrinkling your balls. Like, getting, like, perfectly, like, smooth, unwrinkled balls. And they use, like, hot steam to iron them out. They ironed out clothes with cow. Oh, shit. JK, they use hot water and hang clothes up on a oh, line. Oh, sure. Oh. Hot water? Oh, so they like, they'll, like, hang them up on the line to air dry and that keeps them all straight and narrow? What's the point of having balls, then? I don't know. If I had them, I'd probably want to look into the unwrinkling technique. Hey, it'd be interesting. Nice fresh look. Do people use like Botox on their nuts? Or on their butts? On their nuts and their butts? You had Botox butt balls? <laughs> you have the key? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was just looking around for more stuff to loot. I was just rooting around. Come on, I'm a little loot goblin. <laughs> I wanna find some loot. I wonder if there's more loot in here for me. Ooh. A potion of regeneration. Where's that? Right here. Okay. And I will take a sweet roll and give it to Lydia. Maybe I'll sleep in this person's bed. Guys, will I ever get the rest of my stuff back? from uh, before I did this mission, or did I fuck myself over majorly? I didn't... Uh... You get it all back? It's gone forever. Okay, we have to find the uh, interrogation room. This regeneration spell makes a very faint little tinkling bell sound. I kind of like it. Oh shit. A guard is patrolling. What should we do? They have already pawned it off their skooma? Well, good for them. If the cat people- oh! Pawned it off them. Good for them. Fuck you. I'm going to give you a CPE. You'll never be able to do guard duty again. Say goodbye to your guarding days. Elven mace? Wow! That thing is strong. <laughs> that thing is strizong. <laughs> it looks cool, too. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. Esburn? Too long, didn't read. Is this a torture rack? Cool. They got embalming tools. Uh, garlic? What's the garlic for? I can kind of, like, with context, discern what the embalming tool is used for, but what about the oh. garlic? <sighs> vampires? Is it for torturing vampires? It's for stuffing the spice, I guess. For tasting? Oh, is that like the, the figging thing or whatever it's called? 
What was that torture technique? It's like... Back in the medieval times, there was this, all these very unique and creative ways of torturing people, and one of them was figging. What happens in figging again? I know it involves some kind of vegetable. I don't think it actually involves a fig, it's just called figging. A pair of agony? Oh yeah, it's like, there's like a metal thing with spikes on it that they would put up someone's butt. Why do you know this? Oh, clothes iron. Are you okay? A tiny rawness? I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Oh no, it. he's delirious. He thinks he's being interrogated again. I'm not here to torture you. Wait, I'd like to hear it all one more time. For good measure. Fine. Whatever you want. Can't you just kill me and get it over with? Should we kill There's him? There's this old man. I've seen him around Rifton. I don't know where he lives. I don't know his name. Yes, he matches the description of this Esbern guy you're looking for. Maybe it's him, maybe it isn't. That's all I know, Esbern, okay? yeah, I got his dossier. <laughs> okay, now we have to escape. You've been very cooperative. Thanks. Why don't you just kill me already? Can we kill him? Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender <gasps> immediately. Or you both die. <gasps> That's Wilbur Never or whatever the fuck his name is. Malbor. Move. Oh! Slowly. Dude, we have to save him. Actually, let's just fucking go. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Wait, I think we need the key. For He's that. got to be here somewhere. <laughs> Wilbur! I'll save you! Let's <laughs> roll You stay away from my friend. We ride together. We die together. Stop staring at the fucking wall. Oh, he's attacking! He's attacking! Let's go. Uh, fuck. Uh, my first time cool down. Wait, did... <gasps> I was trying to body block. He died. Bagging him in death. Please reload. Oh fuck. I wonder when my last save is. Um Okay, this is good. This is good. We're saved. We're saved. We can still save him. Mm. You're dead. Fuck you! You no. killed my friend in another lifetime. In another reality. Fuck you! I'm still pissed at you. I'm never doing guard duty again. Say goodbye. We have to go to the hospital now. Uh, let me steal all this shit again. Okay. Okay, we will talk to him. And then save? I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Tell me all Fine. one more time. There's the... <laughs> yeah. That's all I know, okay? Why don't you just kill You've me already? You've been very cooperative. Thank you. Okay. Should we wait until they put him in a cage Listen or something? Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here. Mm. And we have your accomplice. <gasps> Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm dead traitor. already. Move. <gasps> no, they're attacking him! Never should have come here. Never should have come here. Fuck, no, they're gonna kill him again. Fuck, attack me, not him. Attack me, not him. Weird. What did she say? Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. I don't wanna talk to you any longer. Fuck you. Wait, he's still alive! He's still... <gasps> Wilbur! We did it! Wait, this has even more damage than what I had equipped. Wait, I never equipped the thing again. Shit. 
Dorky, nice. Are you okay, bro? Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you're okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, now we have the big boy maze. You. Oh. oh, the Thalmor will be hunting me for that. Oh, do you think we should go kill that guy that's kept in the dungeon? We can't, like, rescue him, can we? Maybe we should put him out of his misery. I told you. I don't... What? I'm not here to talk Who? to you. What? What do you want, then? <gasps> we can free him! No time to explain. Let's yeah. get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. Oh, he can Must shepherd us. If you like, but we need to find a way to unlock that trap door. You can still kill him? Okay. Oh shit, now I have two liabilities. Oh god. He looks like Gollum. Mmm, precious. I want to find strands of hair. I want to collect strands of hair. Is there any goodies in here? Not my goodies. Not my goodies. Come on, get your goodies. You may look at me and think that I'm just a young girl, but I'm not just a young girl. That's <laughs> oh my god, what is down there? Bros, what is down there? Oh my Somebody god! Help. Melbourne, stay back! This is a job for the Dovahkiin. Oh, huh? huh? No, why did you come down here? You wanted to get hurt. Oh fuck! Werg! Oh Guys, stay! No, 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 no! Stop fucking walking! Stop! No! Please don't kill me! You fucking idiot! Somebody what? Help. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Run for the exit and not even bother trying to fight? What if they what if they both get hit and die instantly? He he's like a one hit kill. This prisoner guy. Here, I'll just make a fucking run for it. 
This way, my brothers. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll teleport here. Now the Falmor will be hunting me <gasps> for the rest Let's of my go! life. I hope it was worth it. My brothers! To me! Okay, I'll quick save. Leave our equipment bag and talk to Delphine. Where the fuck that is? Now the Falmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. What was that? I'm gonna get ya! Oh no. Because I'm wild, yeah! We'll bring it down! Oh fuck. We can fight him, we can fight him. Here, I'll I'll get my firebolt. Did he fly away? He went like this way, right? Where is that dragon? I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Well, there's a house up there. A quaint little house. I'm gonna get ya. I wonder what it feels like to be burned alive. Instantly. What would it feel like to be atomized? Just like evaporated? You won't even be able to like register the pain for even like a millisecond, right? Oh, here's that house. Wait, it's a little village. Knock, knock. Who's here? Is anyone home? Is this like a little mini village or like someone's private estate? It's got like neighborhood watch. I'm gonna break in. Oh, it's the embassy! That's right! Oh. I didn't see it from that angle before. Sorry, I got all topsy turvy going through the cave. I don't know which way is north and which way is south. Solitary confinement. What YouTuber was it? Was that Michael? What was his name? Vsauce Michael? Is he the guy that like voluntarily went into solitary confinement for like 30 days? Michael Wine Sauce? Yeah, he went into like a white room with no sound, no nothing, just himself. He couldn't do anything. I feel like the boredom would actually drive you insane. Even after just like a few hours. Why dare scale down the side of this cliff? His first name is Hey, his middle name is Vsauce, and his last name is Michael Here. Michael Vsauce unfortunately never recovered. Did he sustain like irreversible psychological damage from that? That would make a lot of sense. Jesus Christ, what is that noise? Yeah, it turns out he kind of stopped uploading on his channel, right? Michael Vsauce. I haven't really heard from him in a while. Strangely enough, there's a VTuber that debuted a couple years ago. His name is Michael. And he also likes, uh, experiments 
and psychological stuff. He does shorts now? Like board shorts? Kind of shorts like denim or spandex. YouTube shorts? Like shorts with like a YouTube logo on them? What the fuck? They sell like YouTube merch? 1950s boy shorts? Like little German boy shorts with the uh... <laughs> boy shorts? <laughs> with like the fucking suspenders? <laughs> I wanna jump into the water! I wanna go swimming! When can we go swimming? Imagine wearing YouTube merch. <laughs> yeah, that would be so lame. <laughs> Sorry, it got kind of hot in my room. I want to drink from a spring of eternal life. And talk everlasting. <laughs> Those spiders on fire. I really hate the spiders in this game. I feel like they're so disgusting. Wait, there's werewolves in this game, right? I've seen the werewolf models before. Uh, I I've never played Skyrim before. This is my first time playing, but I've s I have seen the werewolves from Skyrim before, and they look kind of cool. You can, like, become a werewolf, right? There's werewolves that look weird. Do you prefer the heat or the cold? I prefer cold. Honestly, I'm a psychopath. And when I lived alone, I would set my thermostat to, like, 40 to 50 degrees. 50 degrees during the daytime, and when I go to sleep, 40 degrees. When I had air conditioning. But it was like a portable air conditioner. You set those things to like 50 degrees or whatever. It doesn't actually lower it that far. Because they're super inefficient. And they can't really cool down your entire place. It's usually just focused on one room. So I had like a portable air conditioner in my bedroom. And I would always set it super fucking low to make it as cold as possible. I hate sleeping when it's hot. Anyone who actually enjoys the heat is probably psychologically troubled. Jesus Christ! Who's fucking oh. grease lightning racing outside? The entire fucking cast of grease is outside with their fucking 1950s grease up hair, leather jacket shit, snapping their fucking fingers about to do a fucking musical number, racing their shitty fucking car. <laughs> oh, my train clock is going off. I love this seat. My apartment is at 78 right now. You're actually disturbed. Please get help. Wait, where am I even going? I started going towards this marker, but I don't even know where does it lead? I don't see it on the actual map. Unless it's like really, really, really far away. Oh my god, it's all the way over here? In Riverwood. Should I fast travel to Riverwood since I don't have my fucking horse? You know what? I need to get my steps in. I want exercise. Maybe we'll encounter some flora and fauna on the way there. My room is 80 and I have a blanket on? You just know that blanket is fucking filthy. Oh, a majestic forest animal. Oh. No, I feel bad. No, come back to life. Oh no, it died with its eyes open. We have to put pennies on its eyes to close them. Ooh. One time I went out to eat with my mom and dad when I was like eight. 
And we had like some spare chains. Like in my mom's purse. I was just fucking around. I put some of the, the pennies like on my eyes and I was like, look, I I'm penny eyes. And my mom got really pissed and she was like, can't do that. That's what they do to dead bodies so that their eyelids stay closed. And she didn't talk for the rest of dinner. She didn't like my joke. Why would she get mad? I don't know. The weird thing is, I don't think they like do that now. Like they didn't do that like in the fucking early two thousands, right? <laughs> like I don't, I don't think putting pennies on people's eyes is like a common practice in America. You see, from ancient Greece. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> is my mom a fucking time traveler? <laughs> do it to pay the ferryman. Yeah, maybe my mom is like 2,000 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's like something they did in like fucking Victorian times. They would put like... We'll put a wee bit of a quid on your fucking eyes. So that little eyes don't open during rigor mortis. <laughs> Found out my mom is a god and acting strange? My mom is acting too strange. Found out my mom is an ancient being? Time traveled to the current year and she's acting very strange. She legit got so pissed though. It was like. I don't know. Ugh. Like on Twitter, where you say, like, oh man, I love waffles so much, and someone replies saying, like, does that mean you hate pancakes? The what the fuck? And then you just get really pissed at you. But with like. How am I? How am I supposed to know that they put pennies on people's uh, like dead bodies eyes in ancient Greece? Who's shooting at me? You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I spoke. I'm sorry, I spoke. I'm sorry, I spoke. I'm sorry, I spoke. I banged it on top of the mountain. Ooh, yeah. Is that the same dragon from before, you think? Cream of the crop. When you have a clown daughter, you will understand a clown daughter? <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta level up. I'm going to level up my... Uh, I feel like I need more magic up. Oh wait, no. Maybe more stamina? I feel like my stamina runs out pretty fast, but... I also feel like my health is pretty low. I think I got something on my arm that I'm really allergic to because it's been so itchy. Maybe it's that YouTube merch. I'm at school right now watching your stream? Bro, you're gonna get in trouble. Pay attention in your class. Do, do your fucking schoolwork. What the fuck? Let's do health. Got lactose on my arm. Got milk arms. Now I have to increase my perk. I want to increase dysfunction. Wait, I can do destruction dual casting now. Dual casting and destruction spell over I don't care. Wait, fuck. Yeah, I dropped out. Look how good I turned out. Actually, I finished high school. <laughs> I I did like almost two years of college. I didn't drop out because I was watching YouTubes or Twitches or whatever during class. Tell you what, I dropped out against my own will. I got I got really sick. I'd like to go back to college sometime soon though. Before I get too old and decrepit to learn anything. I should buff speech. Is that good to have? You know what? I'll do it. If I can. Buying and selling prices are 10% better? Whoa! Haggling! Now... Now... I can make even more money! Madness, sky is the limit! Sky room is the limit? Ooh, yeah! Go back before your credits expire? I feel like they're probably long gone by now. How long do, does like a college credit last? Where the fuck is he going? 
fuck, can we make it up this mountain? Maybe we can. These dragons are kind of shy. Is he just like... Minding his own business? Maybe he only attacks if he feels threatened. Go to college and start your own course on a VTubing major. Oh, yeah! VTubing studies. I'll teach people how to be pre debut Twitter VTuber. Could be pretty lucrative. You haven't been beat up properly! Ah! Beat this yeah. up properly! Oh, ah! I shot a fireball into his mouth! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Lydia, help me! She's freezing him! Mercy! Wait, Lydia, are you okay? That's right, Lydia, it's not over. How come his voice gets pitched up randomly? Yeah! Ow, 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 ow. I wish I could dodge roll. Is there a dodge roll in Skyrim? You lose statement! Snap into a slim jam! Snap into a slim jam! Snap into this! You. I'm gonna get you! No! Get away from... Get away from Lydia! I'm yeah. to get from my skin hole! Oh no, I'm out of magic yet. Lydia, are you okay? I'll protect you! Okay, I'm, I'm retarding, I'm retarding. Wait, wait, wait. Motion. Regeneration. I'll take this. Fuck. I still gotta get all my shit back. From the fiend. Fuck. You know what? Maybe I should just use this maze. Lydia! Lydia, get up! No! Get away from her! Dragons. I feel like they're just minding their own business. Are we are we the bad guys in this? He was just snapping into a slim gym on the top of this mountain and we just came up and bothered him. They're not minding their own business? They're literally flying in to kill you? But he was just chilling in the air, floating around, probably just like talking to his fellow dragon brothers. And then I showed up. Maybe he felt threatened. I don't know. I feel like there's more to the story. <laughs> Didn't they say there are zombies? Yeah, they're like... They're being brought back to life by someone. Whoa. Majestic beast of nature. He was defending his cocaine horde. <laughs> They are threatening? They are threatening me? But what if the humans did something bad to dragons in the past and the dragons don't trust the humans anymore and we have to have like a come to Jesus moment where we all sit down and work out our troubles and once and for all decide to make a treaty to unite humankind and dragon kind once and for all. It's actually reversed. Wait, so dragons have just been tormenting people forever? The dragons enslaved the humans? Well, maybe the humans did something fucked up and their vibes were off. No? We don't know what happened. Maybe they didn't... Uh, maybe they... Uh, I don't know. 
They said something and their tone was off. Like Dark Souls, yeah. She didn't read the stones along the 1000 steps? <laughs> oh fuck. Was there really like a little lore dump along the way? <laughs> I kind of skipped a lot on accident. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to kill this. It's attacking me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, holy fuck. I'm not justifying the human dragon slavery. I'm just saying there's two sides to every story, guys. There's three sides to every story. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the humans were just rude. Maybe this planet was originally belonging to dragons, and then the humans showed up one day and were like, oh, we own this place now. And the dragons were like, hey, what the fuck? So the dragons were like from outer space. dragons even admit it? So wait, the dragons are just completely evil, irredeemable beings? Why does my finger smell like pickle juice? My middle finger smells like pickle. Like specifically my nail. Looks like we caught you in a pickle. No, it smells like vinegary. Oh wait, I think I know. I, I was like, I was touching some of the food that we might be eating tomorrow. That might be why. I I think I touched some pickles earlier. <laughs> it smells. Like dill pickle. Dill pickles. Pickle finger, pickle finger. Guys, stop, stop it. I'm not a pickle toucher, stop. I hate pickles. They're just cucumbers that think they're special. Ooh, I kind of want to eat like a... Uh... I can't decide if they're disgusting or not. Those pickles that my grandma used to always eat, they're like kind of sweet pickles. What are those called again? They're like little small pickles, but they're kind of sweet. They're kind of sweet with it. Gherkin. Yeah! My grandma loved gherkins. Grandma's little gherkin. Is there another dragon or is... <gasps> it's a flame lock! Who summoned you? What the fung? <coughs> Stop it! <coughs> you are actually so messed up and possessed. Oh. <coughs> I didn't know they did that. Jesus. <coughs> I love my grandma's little gherkin. Oh god. She's nothing but bone now. Fire salts? Wait, if we take all the fire salts, that means we can summon our very own flame atronach now. Now, I'm going to summon my very own flame atronach. <laughs> Not that fucking copy pasta again. Their body is made up of 87% fire. I feel like they're like the elephant's foot from Chernobyl. I don't know about the flame atronox, you guys. I don't know. I'd rather have my grandma's little gherkin. Grandma liked to jerk her gherkin. 
actually, one time after my uh, my grandpa passed away on my dad's side, they were like helping my grandma move stuff out of her house so she could go like live in a like a retirement home or whatever. And my dad found like several jars of Vaseline in the nightstand next to my grandpa and grandma's bed. It was, maybe it was, I don't know, maybe they're just using it as like lotion. Who knows what old people do? Old people get like really flaky, dry, wrinkled, like old skin. Maybe they need Vaseline to keep it feeling fresh. Yeah, it's good for dry skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people also eat spoonfuls of stuff. I feel like that would poison you, wouldn't it? Isn't it? Vaseline's made out of like rubber and shit. Rubber cement. When you cover yourself in Vaseline to prevent dry skin, like put slugging out. I think my grandma and grandpa both like slathered each other in Vaseline and just lugged out in bed all day? I'm gonna slug myself all good and nice. I wanna feel really moist. I just wanna lather myself up and slither around in my bed. Couple of slugs together, stay together. It's honestly so fucking romantic. My grandpa and grandma, they were like, I think they're married for like 50 fucking years. What the fuck? That dog's sitting like a person. Hey, Stomp. I love Stomp. Hey, let me put my shit away. Well, we made it to Riverwood. It's time to talk to Delphine and get our shit back. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Um, I have a boyfriend too. I don't give a shit. I think she's in the winking skeever. Where's that winking little skeever? I'd like to take a look at your winking skeever. Your grandpa loves your grandma's gherkins? Yeah, he did. It's honestly kind of sweet to think about like an, a really gone. old couple that's been married for a really long time and just open up their nightstand seeing that they got like tons of fucking like Vaseline in there because they've been just fucking raw dogging each other for 50 years. Sweet. Steel, we it's honestly so like heartwarming home. to think about. It's like 80 to 90 year old couple they've been married since they were like out of high school pretty much. Death, we will drink and we'll sing. It's beautiful. It's like true love. We got rooms and food. Drink too. I cook. I have rooms and food too. To I don't care. I have rooms full of food. Oh, it's this guy. But this, you're can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you take a break? We should just tell him to stop. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear Ragnar ah, the Red. A fine but bloody tail. Shut the I can fuck do that one. up. This is a local favorite. Why the one of the first songs I ever learned. I want my finger Ragnar to stop smelling like pickle juice. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Old Rorick Stead. Any requests? The braggart did swagger Can you shut the fuck up? As he told of bold battles in gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Stick now up I your think bum. it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel. Could you as tell like, if Matilda someone put their finger up their butt and like, have they held it up to your face? Need a room. Could you like tell that it smells like a pooped finger? When his ugly red head rolled around on I feel the like floor. if you like call that out, doesn't that make you suspect too? Because then it's just like, how do you know that what a pooped finger smells like? You can like discern like the distant smell of shit from when you take a shit in the toilet. But I feel like the smell of shit like 
combined with like your finger probably it smells a bit different it's like more it's like a closer up smell now we have all smelled shit we've all smelled shit in different contexts though i don't i think like it's like a takes one to know one kind of situation like if you can tell when someone like holds their finger up to your nose that there's poop on it that they put their finger in their butt well not like that there's literally poop on it like maybe they put their finger in their butt it comes out clean but it still has got it's got like a film on it where you it's like butt it's like inside of butt smell that's what i'm talking about it's like there's a difference between like inside of butt smell and shit in a toilet which most of us are familiar with most of us have taken a shit in the toilet and they know what it smells like. They can discern that. And you can tell like in the context of like, you went to the bathroom and somebody takes a shit in the toilet, you know that they took a shit in the toilet. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying... <sighs> you would have to know, like, you would have to know like personally what a, a butted finger smells like. A finger that's been inside of a butthole, whether it's someone else's butthole or your own butthole. You would have to know, like, what that specific smell is like. I feel like it's a more specific smell than just, like, the smell of shit by its own. I'm not saying you need to know. I'm saying in a situation, someone comes up to you, they hold your their hand up to your face, and you can smell their finger. Maybe you'd be like, if you didn't know, you'd be like, hmm, their finger smells kind of strange. But that's as far as it would go, unless you do have the knowledge of what it smells like when someone puts a finger inside their own butthole or someone else's butthole. I'm not even explaining it. I'm not explaining it in detail. I don't know what a like a butted finger smells like. What the fuck are you talking about? Didn't ask. <laughs> Stop. Get help, please. <laughs> Didn't ask. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I don't know what it smells like. I'm not even like hinting that I do. I'm not even trying to be cheeky like, oh yeah, my friend told me that when you put your finger in a butthole, it smells like this and this and this. Got like all these flavor notes to it. I don't know. I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. Hand on chest, Pledge of Allegiance, this is what I'm saying. If someone put their finger up their butt, just some random person who butted their finger, came up to me, put their finger in my face, and I smelled it, catched a whiff, I would probably think, their finger smells bad. But I wouldn't immediately think, they must have put their finger in their asshole, you know? Anyone who would like, their thoughts would instantly go to like their finger was in their asshole they probably know from experience that's what i'm saying why is the camera spinning uh, why does the salt look like a blue crystal oh wait no that's ice wraith teeth this is salt pile this is mine now Delphina, what made it out alive back. at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Thank you. Did you learn anything useful? Thank you. How much does your finger smell by default? That would drown out the recognizable smell. Number 15, <laughs> butthole finger. <laughs> Why does that sound? Why does that sound like a really long, like, indie album title or like <laughs> a like Fallout Boy song? <laughs> a light novel title? <laughs> my finger, mo my other finger is small like finger. Roll out of this stream because this is bad comedy. <laughs> Looks like you know what a butted finger smells like, bro. Uh, sorry, not sorry. I don't need shit to smell my finger. Smell your finger right now. Tell me what it smells like. 
kind of smells like keyboard and skin. It smells like soap. A bit like my hand soap. Lemon? Fragrance of pickled butthole. Mm. Sweat? My mouth covered in sweat? Yeah, kind of sweaty. Yeah, bro, took us a stream. <laughs> okay. So you guys are telling me, imagine you're blindfolded, you're in solitary confinement. The guard comes in and they're like, if you can complete this test, you will be freed. You will earn your freedom this way. They blindfold you and they say, we're going to hold up fingers to your nose. You have to tell us which one has been inside of an anus. Would you be able to accurately discern which one and why? Yes? Instantly even? Well, how do you know? It doesn't like literally have like shit on it. From when toilet paper rips and your finger smells like that? Would you smell like instantly? Cause it smells like shit? But like a shitted finger probably smells different than just shit on its own. <laughs> <laughs> look for the one with the brown stains. You can't look though. You're blindfolded. It's a blindfolded smell test. It's more muted, diluted smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like diluted, slightly poopy butthole smell. Did Us you learn anything useful? Butted finger. I'm talking to a wall right now. The Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Why'd you send me if you're willing to believe me? Yes, I'm sure. They're looking for someone named Esper and I have his dossier. Esper? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have gotten... Diluted him. slightly, buddy B. SS smell. Figures the Thalmor would buddy be on balls. his trail, though. If they were trying to find okay, out what's going buddy on balls. with the dragons. Stop fucking talking about shit fingers. You guys keep bringing it up and challenging me. Why are you challenging me on it? I... me thinks the lady docks protests too much. You mean aside from wanting to Looks like to we got some blade, butted fingers typing stuff into my chat. Esburn was one of the blade's archivists. Not my Back problem. The Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. Maybe one, two, he three, four, five butted fingers, maybe blades. ten. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as the I trust this Delphine person. I miss Boris. Boris was a bro. I seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the rat wing. Oh yeah, Riften, that's, that's where people told me to go to gamble you and they were lying. Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, the blades you may are have some trouble in this getting game? him to trust you. Aww. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. Riften is your kind of town? Nobody. What do you mean by that? I feel like you're being derogatory right now. What happened to the blaze? Where are you on the run? I don't care. I need my stuff. Did I get my stuff? I don't think I didn't. I did not. Do you need something? I need my stuff. <gasps> Here's all my stuff. This is all my stuff. Holy fuck! This is all my stuff. This is literally all my stuff. Yes. Uh. How many potions do you want? Yes. All my pretty soul gems. Yes. All my my potions of stamina. Yes, 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 yes. Six apples. All my pelts. Are you guys getting jealous of how much stuff I have in my inventory? It's okay. I'm carrying too much. Lydia. I've got your back. I need you. To take some of my I things. Your command. You can take. 
what did I give her before? Did it take everything that was in Lydia's inventory too? Seems like it did. You... Wait, no, she has all this shit still. Okay. You can have... I need to get rid of 40 pounds. Take all this elven armor, I don't give a shit. Maybe she'll equip it and look cool as fuck. Imperial Bracer... Th Wait, those are nice. Ooh, that's nice too. Whoa. Whoa, wow, 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 wow. Oh, this one is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give these. And I'm gonna give... My potty clothes. I'm gonna give... Wait, can I not give her any more now? I have way too much stuff. What doing? Let's get going then. Hold on, my chat got broke. She only wears heavy armor? Wait, is the elven armor not heavy? It was like pure metal. I guess I'll drop... This shield. I'm not gonna use it, let's face it. I mean, I could sell it. It's pretty expensive. I'll drop these boots. God damn! The pickle smell is like, it's making me high. I wish this is like oblivion where you could sort by weight. And then just look at... You know, just sort it and then look at what's the most heaviest and then you get rid of the most heaviest. Drop this. Drop. Wait, no, this is nice. I don't want this dirty, filthy Thalmor shit in my inventory or on my person. I found my person. There we go. It's Delphine's problem now. Oh shit, gold. Coming right up. Coming right up. I'd be right happy to. Wait, what time if is it? If you're not gonna use that armor you dropped, do you mind if I take it? What? Should I give it to him? I feel like he's gonna use it to kill that guy. I don't trust this guy. He's weird. Wait, carbon monoxide alert? Is that a symptom of carbon monoxide poisoning? Smelling pickle juice? He's gonna eat it? He'll go out on an adventure and die. Okay, cool. I'm going to get it right now and wear it. Many thanks. <gasps> Do you think he's gonna put it on and pretend to be an adventurer to impress that lady? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Put it on. To tell. Put it on, Sven. You're dead, kiddo. Wait, ow. <laughs> ow. You think yes. Sven is a good Christian boy? No, he's duplicitous and just not right hey, in the head. I would not call him a good boy. He is preposterous. Yeah, he is definitely a sinner. He's a sin head. He was gonna write a letter to trick a girl into thinking that like this other guy was saying bad shit about her just so really he could steal her away from him. That's not a good Christian thing to do. Oh my god, this looks so comfortable. I want to sleep in a big carrot. This fur looks so real. So real. So real. Sven definitely pees in jars. Ugh. Ugh. Have you ever had to use piss jugs? I feel like there's situations where that is like... You can be forgiven. But have you ever like... Been like playing a game... 
all night long and you didn't want to like get up to go to the bathroom so you just like pee into like a fucking bottle or like a bowl? No? Yeah, just use a diaper. Have you ever poop socked it? Is that like an actual thing that people do? Or is that like one of those urban legends? Where it's like... Oh no, my mom found my poop sock from when I played World of Warcraft. You know how in like... Army movies and like prison movies and stuff... They'll like get together one night, gang up on a guy, put like a bar of soap into a sock and like beat him with it. I think you can do that with like hardened like constipation poop. Just rock hard constipation poop sock. Frozen poop. Like they can't get their hands on a bar of soap so they have to improvise with something. It loses too much water to be heavy when it dries. Oh, it'd probably like crumble. Mm. Try to walk away here. and I uh, stumble. Don't get on my bad side. What's a, a Glock dookie? Is that like a poop gun? You give me PTSD flashbacks, for, but from the present? Those are actually your hidden memories from your your past life that I'm activating right now. Everyone here has a past life where you are an elven goddess, a tree spirit, a wolf spirit, maybe even a king or a queen from a faraway land. That's what you were in your past life. You can uncover your past life memories and use your powers once again if you keep watching the stream. Sadly, I have to go really soon, but I will return on not Saturday, because I have to go to a party, but maybe Monday or Tuesday. In jail, guys poop and piss in the toothpaste tubes and then use it as a non lethal weapon? What the fuck? In my past life, I was Tifa Lockhart and Final Fantasy VII was real. This is true. I am unlocking my materia powers. I was. Lucretia from Final Fantasy VII. I like to focus and meditate in a bathtub filled with ice water every day so I can remember my past life memories and regain my powers. You too can do this if you keep watching the stream. I put in subliminal messaging in every phrase that I say to help unlock your deep seated memories. Just focus on the stream, think about your breathing, and feel your diaphragm. I was Link, literally the elf. Kill tons of scary stuff and gather loot, yeah. Holy fuck, bro. I was Bowser. I was big Bowser, and I lived in my big lava castle until Mario showed up and ruined everything. I was also Sailor Moon. I'm from the Moon Kingdom and Neo Tokyo. I remember all of my friends who gave their powers to me to defeat Queen Beryl. That was Ichabod Crane? Holy fuck, you were Sailor Moon too? No, I was the real Sailor Moon. You're probably having- you're mistaking your memories for something else. You were probably like Kimba the White Lion or something. There's no- no duplicates! No duplicates! No! From the moon, alright? I swear I'm always so confused when I'm here. That's actually a symptom of your past life memories returning. They complicate things inside of your brain because your brain can't really comprehend like having past and present memories at the same time. It's the feeling of your two beings, your past life being and your current being shifting together and merging. Sometimes the merging process can be quite painful and confusing, but it is okay. Who are you guys in your past lives? My tubing is merging? Yes. Can I be Sailor Uranus? I don't know, were you? It's not a matter of becoming something, it's knowing what you were. 
Hatsune Miku? Madara Uchiha? I was a bomb. <laughs> Michael Jordan in a past life. Like from another like an alternate universe. He's still alive right now. <laughs> I think I was an eel or something. That was Tony Soprano? Holy shit, bro. Okay, I know you have all of his memories, but no spoilers, please. I'm still watching that show. Can you imagine if there was like if like fiction kin stuff was real? There would be people walking around that have past life memories of like Walter White from Breaking Bad and just like going up to people and telling them and like spoiling everything <laughs> from like shows that haven't even aired yet. It's not? Uh, yeah, it, it is. I'm just saying like imagine a hypothetical alternate universe where it's not real but I'm saying what if it was real in that alternate universe because there's infinite universes with infinite possibilities. <laughs> John Soprano dies in a spaghetti related car accident. Mamma mia! I was also from <laughs> Let It Go. <laughs> ever get deja vu from something new? You ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that. I don't know how people make that joke. It's too mean. <laughs> no, I know what you mean though. Like, getting that deja vu feeling, and you can't really, like, it's like an itch in the back of your mind. You can't really figure out, like, why you feel that way, or what's, like, triggering it. But in reality, it's probably because your past life memories are returning. I get deja vu whenever I go to an Italian restaurant and order lasagna. Because I was Garfield in one of my past lives. And whenever I encounter anyone with the name John, I start feeling some type of way. I start feeling kind of stressed and angry. Maybe a little resentful. I do not get along with people named John. Yeah. Damn it. I start feeling nauseated. With the Master Chief? Wait, is this name really John Master Chief? John Halo himself? Sorry, Johnny Kaze. Yeah. Wait, I think I have to go help set up with the... The Hot Ones thing. They said to meet at 6.40pm PST. But that they could wait for me and set me up last? His name is actually John? Wait, really? Is that how the, the John video game name thing started? This looks so gross. Oh, cook cooking? <laughs> beef stew. We need raw beef, carrot, salt pile, garb, garlic. I didn't know you could cook in this game. I know there's like alchemy and stuff, but not cooking. You can make a poisoned apple. Chokeberry and red apple. Cabbage potato soup, cabbage soup, clam chowder. Ew, clam chowder is disgusting. Cooked anglefish. That looks like a tortilla chip. Apple cabbage stew. I want beef stew! Wait, where's the potatoes? You gotta have potatoes and beef stew. Okay, next time we play, I have to go on a quest to find the ingredients to make a beef stew and make it and give it to someone. Ooh, that looks like throw up. Clam chowder is great. Go to Boston? No fucking way. Fuck you, buddy! What the fuck? Beef stew is perfect for melee fighting. Does it raise your strength? Oh my god, I have to pee so bad. Wait, hold on, let me check the, the GC. Uh, that's sort of for group chat. Can you make me a grilled cheese? Oh my god, you know what sounds so good? Oh! Mm. 
I love grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. It's so, so wholesome. Wholesome dining. Fuck. You didn't see April inviting me to play WK 2023. A hundred times, right? Niners, it's been a bad day. Could you give us some affirmational words? Here's a few biddies. What? Could you give me... Give us some affirmational words? Here's my affirmational words of the day. Even if today you feel... You feel bad. Always know that tomorrow is another day. And deep within you is your past life character who you used to be. Communicate with them. Let your memories resurface and regain your powers. Remember the things that that character always said. Keep them true to your heart. True to your heart. I am a god who knows the future. And I'll tell you one thing. Even if today you're having a bad day, I know that a day from now, maybe two days from now, maybe a week, you will have a really nice happy moment and you'll think to yourself, Man, I'm so glad I made it to this day to experience this moment. And that's the truth. That's the gospel truth. Oh yeah, I was saying, I like grilled cheese roll up sounds so good. You like roll up the bread and you put like the, the cheese and melt it. Like a cheesy roll up but with grilled cheese bread. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Dip it into the tomato soup. Yeah, yeah, you get it, you get it. Holy fuck, that sounds so good. I'm actually really hungry. I'm glad that I barely ate today, except for eating a bagel sandwich. So I have room for eating spicy wings. Okay, I think... I think they're going to set up soon. Okay, so I, I don't want to keep them waiting, so I'm going to raid someone and I'll be over on Koki's channel. We're going to do the Hot Wings Challenge. I don't know if Koki's live yet. Thanks, Yana. I just communicated with my spirit cartoon ancestor incarnation and you just said... And I don't know how I'm supposed to feel anymore, but it gave me a bit of clarity. I hope that was really cathartic for you and gave you some closure. Just focus on those words. Hold them close <laughs> to your heart. Offline raid to Koki? She's leaving forever? No, I'm literally- I'm gonna be on Koki's channel in like 20 minutes eating the spicy hot wings. She's not alive yet? We could do an offline raid. Here, I'll just send you over to her offline channel. Oh fuck. <laughs> Don't look at that. Fine, yeah, and see you on the other side. Don't look so sad. What the fuck? Live cam with a masking all wings? I don't know Watch if I'll show my traveler. face while I eat, but I think there will be some manner of camera. To show the wings at least. I gotta set it up though. And I don't I don't wanna keep them waiting too much. What is the next stream? Uh tomorrow I'm gonna be on Ethel's channel. We're gonna eat weird foods. And on Saturday, I have to go to a birthday party. Um, wait, what day is Sunday? Sunday, I have a collab with... Hina and Tob and Ethel. We're gonna play Dokopon Kingdom, I think. Then... Fuck. I know for sure I'll be back on Tuesday on my channel, because I'm doing like a little VR stream, and I'm gonna show my new 3D mm -hmm. model. E you beat Skyrim already? That's cool. <laughs> yeah! We'll yeah, miss you, we Nine. Never forget us. Stop! I feel bad. I will, be, I will be back. I will be back. But I will also be back playing games with people for the next, like, three days, essentially. But on Saturday, I will be out of office for certain. I'm going to an IRL birthday party. Maybe I'll be able to stream, like, early in the day. I'm not sure. I don't even know when the birthday party is. I'll see if I can get in a stream before we go. But I'll let you guys know. But yeah, for now, I'll catch you guys over on Kogi's channel. We'll do an offline raid over to her. And you guys can enjoy us eating spicy stuff and dying. Wait, she's online? Oh, she's just not alive? Okay, sweet. 
There you go. Sweet. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you on Koki's channel. Me and uh, Tom and Koki and Ethel, I think, are going to be eating spicy wings. I've never tried If you're ever feeling down, before. remember how thankful you are to have made it to these Nyan streams. <laughs> oh, wait, she's leaving. <laughs> Bailey. Honestly, scared and worried for the the outcome of this, the aftermath. Do you think chocolate milk, like lactose-free chocolate milk, would help absorbing the spice? Like, will that act as like a, a fire shield? Will that give me plus five fire resistance? Yes. It's not the, the lactose in milk that helps with the spice receptors, right? It's like... What what part of the milk is what blankets your little pain receptors or whatever? Sugar works too? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, sugar's not great for it? It's the fat? 